Hey guys, it's Dr. Kimberly. I am here today to talk about staging of baby teeth. Um, there you can Google and there will be textbook answers of exactly when the baby teeth should come in and the permanent teeth should come in. Um, and you can use those as a guideline, but I always tell parents to not panic and get super sucked into those perfect little, you know, six to nine months or 10 to 12 months. Um, because every child is a little bit different. Um, if you're concerned or you feel like they don't have their teeth when they're supposed to always bring them by so that we can take a peek. But, um, just as a general overview, uh, there are 20 baby teeth. Those are going to come in um, usually by the time I would say they're three. You'll get the front teeth first um, and then you'll get their little molars, one in each corner in the back. And then usually after that, you'll see the canines or the pointy teeth. And then after two, ideally is when you'll see the very back second um, molars back there. But like I said, um, no reason to panic. If you feel like your kid is a little bit older and still doesn't have any teeth, it's always best to bring them in and let us look. A lot of times it's fine. They're just slightly delayed and that's normal for them. Um, the next phase of teething that you'll see are when the six-year molars come in. Those six-year molars are going to come in behind the baby teeth. So they will not lose any teeth for those teeth to come in. Some kids, you don't even realize that they've come in. Some kids, just like when they teeth when they're babies, it really affects them and it hurts. Um, yeah, I always just say, you know, if you notice something weird back there or something's really uncomfortable, it's always better to pay it safe uh, and come in and let us take a peek. But nine times out of 10, if they're around six or seven and they're complaining of tooth pain in the back, look back there. If you see those big teeth coming in, then that's all it is. Um, and then the next set would be their 12 year molars. Those can come in as early as 10 or as late as 14 sometimes. It really, really depends on the kid. Um, and then the last set, which usually don't come in, obviously, are your wisdom teeth. And if you come in uh, for six month checkups, then we'll catch those on the x-rays when we feel like it's time for those to come out. And we'll get you a referral to the oral surgeon to go and get those taken out. Most people don't have room for their wisdom teeth. And even when they do, they're so far back there, uh, they end up getting cavities and they end up causing the kids pain. So most of the time we will suggest to just go ahead and get those wisdom teeth taken out. So. Um, so the big thing is, is that you get your first 20 teeth by the time they're two or three, and then you sort of phase in, you'll have uh, six year molars, 12 year molars, and then wisdom teeth. Um, the 20 baby teeth, obviously over the years will fall out and those new teeth will come in. That varies greatly depending on the child. Um, like I said, you can Google and you will find a perfect, pretty textbook picture of all of the teeth and the ideal time frame of when they will come in and all of that. But I do try to stress to parents to not get too funneled and tunnel visioned into those exact time frames. As long as your child is doing what's normal for them and those teeth are developing, if we're off by you know a little bit of time here or there, then it's totally fine. If y'all can think of any other questions, give us a buzz. The number here is 843-284-6497. Have a great day.